Hi, this is Noah from FrenchPressReviews.com. Many people have coffee makers, but they're curious as to what other types of makers are available. Maybe you'd like to try something new, or maybe your old coffee maker finally died and you just need a good replacement. Well, with hundreds of different types of makers on the market, you have a lot of options and you're definitely going to be able to find something that you like. But before you buy a new coffee maker, you should figure out exactly what you want out of it. Are you a coffee addict who needs 10 cups a day, or should you stick with a smaller single serving maker? Do you need to grind your own beans and want a grinder built in? Do you want foam or options for espresso and cappuccino? Or do you just want something cheap that will make coffee as easily as possible? These are just a few questions that you should ask yourself before going out to find a new coffee maker. Even though most people would agree that it's not the best way to prepare a gourmet cup of coffee, the easiest and most common type of maker is the automatic drip. This is where you put some water in the back or on the side, throw in a filter, fill it with coffee grounds, and then press the start button. Its ease of use is really one of the things that makes it so appealing. These can make just one cup at a time, or they can make gallons at a time. It all depends on what you want to use it for. The thing that you really need to worry about with this type of maker is the coffee that you put into it. Keep in mind that quality coffee beans can be ground up at stores, and they can be infused with flavors like hazelnut, cinnamon, or even vanilla. The second most popular type of maker is the manual drip. This is a lot like the automatic drip, except you heat up and pour the water yourself. You just pour it into the holder where the coffee filter is filled with coffee beans. It drains into the pot and you're done. These also make single cups or up to 12 cups, but aren't usually used commercially. For those who love fishing, hunting, or camping, these are a pretty good choice because you can heat the water up however you want. You can use a stove, a campfire, or even a hot car engine as an option if you really need a cup of coffee right away. Less popular than both of these is the French press. A French press is a device that usually looks like a glass mug. To prepare coffee using a press, you first mix hot water and coffee grounds directly together. Then you allow the mixture to brew for about four minutes. Finally, you simply attach the lid, which has a mesh filter attached. Just push the mesh filter down to the bottom of the press, and this pushes all of the coffee grounds to the bottom of the device. Then your coffee is ready to be poured out, while the mesh filter keeps all of the grounds at the bottom of the mug and out of your cup. A French press is usually considered a more sophisticated way of preparing coffee, and it allows for more flavor to be extracted from the grounds, giving a deeper and more rich taste. Espresso and cappuccino machines are more for a selective person who knows exactly what they like. Unlike a normal coffee maker, these are expensive and you need to practice to operate them efficiently. They utilize pressure, foam, froth, and milk depending on the type of machine that you buy and the type of drink that you're preparing. Espresso and cappuccino are gaining popularity and these machines are becoming smaller and more affordable than ever before. If you want to read more about coffee and French presses, check out FrenchPressReviews.com.